Hey guys and welcome to Petrol Pet and welcome to Soho Farmhouse. I am here today with BMW UK. Behind me I have the... <laughs> and Mr Paul from Love Cars has just totally bombed my intro. Gentlemen. <laughs> yes, behind me I have the brand new 8 Series convertible. This is the 850 4.4 litre twin turbo V8 with over 500 horsepower and it's mine for the next hour or so. And I thought you might like to uh, take it out for a drive on this beautiful sunny day. Let's see if we can catch up Love Cars, shall we? <laughs> Roll the titles. guys this is the new BMW 8 series convertible and this is the very special M850i this particular spec of car is just all black it just looks amazing but what a day to experience soft top motoring in this kind of superb format so we have a press route to drive it's about an hour don't worry, this film won't be an hour long. But it will give me a mix of roads to experience this car. And already, it's a really special place to be. Here we go. Bit of open road. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> this car is mighty! So before we get stuck into the driving, let's have a look around the outside and I'll give you some of the specifications and things to know about the car. Turning the 8 Series Coupe into a convertible increases weight by 125 kilos to 2,015 kilos. You can drop the roof in just 15 seconds at speeds of up to 31 miles an hour. The M850i is powered by a 4.4 litre twin turbo V8, producing 530 bhp and 553 foot pounds of torque. This is coupled to an 8 speed auto and BMW X Drive four wheel drive system, enabling a dash to 60 miles an hour in just 3.9 seconds, only 0.2 of a second slower than the coupe, and on to a limited top speed of 155 miles an hour. The cabin is luxurious but uncluttered. The thick rimmed steering wheel has a tactile feel and the seats offer support and comfort for those long journeys. The M850i starts at £107,000, but this very well spec press car could be yours for £121,000. It had better be good. And I think the first thing to say is, I'm saying a £120,000 BMW, but it feels every inch of that. The cabin's so luxurious. And I haven't driven the new 8 Series before, but the, the thing that grabs your attention the second you get in the driver's seat is the gear select has got this crystal finish to it. It looks absolutely amazing. But when you get it out on some nice roads like we've got here today and the sun is shining, honestly, what a perfect day to test drive the ultimate convertible from BMW. Wind noise in the cabin is remarkably good. I've got both sets of windows up on purpose and then this wind deflector and it really does shield you from the kind of wind that normally comes over the top of a convertible and comes back round and hits you in the back of the head. And that's good for two reasons. It keeps my hair in trim and it's good for the audio on your videos. But yeah, the, obviously if you had passengers in the back, that wind deflector can be removed. You don't have to have it there, but just as a single driver or there were just two of you in here, it's perfect. Just reduces that wind noise and bluster a huge amount. 
Well, we've got a few cars in front. I'll put it into the manual box. Now, you've got a number of uh, different engine modes in this car. No great surprises there. Um, you've got an Eco Pro mode and a Comfort mode. I've got this car for an hour. I'm going to stick it straight into Sport mode and enjoy it. The noise track from the back of the car is, is rumbly and loud, but not excessive. And I like that a lot. And I think when you've got a soft top like this, you kind of want that theater and drama coming from the back of the car. You want a fruity exhaust note on the car. But this is a proper grown-ups car. So I'm guessing many of the clients that buy a car like this probably don't want the whip cracks and the big burbles on overrun and so on that some sports exhausts give you. And the balance is struck really nicely with this one. I like it a lot. I love the seating position. You're really low down in the car um, and the steering wheel are just really nice. You can get into a super comfy driving position. And the view out, it's a long old bonnet on this car. It's quite a big car actually. But the really interesting driving dynamics, so it doesn't feel like a big car at all. It has this nimbleness and lightness to the steering. It's really impressive. I can't believe it's taken me this long to kind of get some nice BMWs on the channel, but huge thanks to BMW UK for the invite today. It's really special to be able to come and experience their cars and put them through their paces on such nice roads. And this road, ah, oh, it's a corker. This car really is a complete mile muncher. It's got a super sized boot, there's plenty of room in here. You could get four people in there. And the seats in the back are quite small, but you know, if it were just two of you, you could do a really nice long trip, loads of luggage space in the back, big boot, and you could munch miles. Do you know, I'm not probably gonna put the roof up today because it's such a superb day. Beautiful, beautiful, sunny day. And that's for me, I'm a massive soft top fan. You know me, I've got my Mini. Before my Mini, I had an Audi TTS. I've had a 325 BMW convertible many moons ago. Um, I've had a couple of um, TT convertibles, actually. We've always got a convertible in the house. We love them to bits. And this, <laughs> this is perfect. There's plenty of room for the petrol pup and the petrol pooch behind. Maybe this, maybe this should be the next car. It's certainly, um, it's certainly practical and a very beautiful place to be. And the performance, well, the performance is just epic. There's no other word for it. You know, 530 horsepower, and this has got the X-Drive system as well, so that's four-wheel drive. You can really, really have confidence when you mash your foot into the carpet that it's just gonna grab hold of the traction uh, and grab hold of the tarmac and just launch you. It's just phenomenal. So much poise. But you know what? This is one of those cars, it's biblically fast. There's no doubt about it. I mean, it, it is a properly, properly quick car. But actually, on a sunny day like today, on a beautiful country road like we've got in front of us, do you want to drive that fast? No, not really. You just want to sit here in luxury and have your back massaged and enjoy the drive. And what I love about convertibles is you get the extra senses start to be stimulated. You can, you can smell the, well, not great if you've got hay fever, but the pollen and the countryside. One of my favorite things to do in a soft top car is to go for a drive with the roof down at dusk or in the very early stages of nighttime. Because you just get this overload of, of, of smell and, and you get so connected to the countryside. And, and for me, that's one of the things, the joys of open top motoring is that extra connection to the, to the surroundings that you're driving through. And, you know, you just can't replicate that unless you can drop the roof. But there will be those amongst you that basically think convertible cars are just another swear word. They're not, they're not, shouldn't be mentioned in the English language because you take the roof off a car and the roof provides so much of the structural rigidity of a car that you compromise the car's handling and balance and you get, you know, scuttle shake and twisting of the suspension and so on. 
and in order to be able to um, overcome that loss of rigidity by removing the roof normally you either do one of two things you stick iron girders in the chassis to stiffen it up or you make it of exotic materials like carbon fiber but normally it adds a lot of weight to the car and, it, and therefore you get a slightly heavier car you get a compromise in terms of the handling and driving feel but for me in some respects that that compromise is worth it because of the driving enjoyment you get the if you want to get one of these and you want to use it for out and out driving pure driving pleasure going around corners as quick as you can then you probably wouldn't get the convertible you'd, you'd buy the coupe um, and you'd enjoy it for me i'd chop the roof off every time oh i spy a straight bit of road with a national speed limit sign there's only one thing for it people Straight bit of road, 0 to 60, 3, 2, 1. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, 60! <laughs> I felt the front of the car almost hop off the ground then. <laughs> it's got so much traction, this thing. You almost feel like it's helping the earth rotate as it digs itself into the tarmac. Wow! Here we go. If I remember this from our route this morning. This is a nice bit of road. <laughs> that soundtrack out the back is just brilliant. Now I'm in sport mode, but I'm going to go to the paddles, I think. Look at this. Oh, man alive. In fact, alive. That's how this car makes you feel. When you're in a look at the scenery around it, it's a beautiful bit of tarmac, this. This is what cars were made for. To go down a piece of road like this, it's super competent. It's a big, heavy car, this, but it has the road manners, the lightness of touch of a much smaller car but when you get out the corner and you're able to put the power on that x-drive system you can just feel the car moving underneath you a little bit but it digs in and it's got so much traction and so much go wow oh boy i tell you what bmw the ultimate driving machine isn't just a clever label you know how such a large car can feel so nimble and precise is truly impressive. This is helped by the rear wheel steering system. The turn in is super sharp and the more twisty the road gets, the better the driving feel and the better the accuracy. slightly the top of the crest but the second the suspension gets a bit of weight underneath it it's back again what a bit of road this is oh you know i said a bit earlier on that you don't really want to drive this car that fast you just mooch around when you get a car look at this when you get a road like this you want to drive and push on a little bit bad points. I'm not so keen on that gear stick being all crystal. A bit too bling for me that one. But from a driving feel point of view and a performance feel point of view you'd, you'd struggle to get in this car and, and not be impressed and not like it. It's superb! Mighty expensive though. 121,000 quid. That's a lot of money. And that puts this car up against some serious competition as well. impressions of this BMW M850i oh man on a day like today 
if you got in this car and didn't love it and didn't enjoy it, there is something clinically wrong with you. It's superb. There's very little I don't like about it. I'm not so keen on the price because I can't afford one. Um, I'm not so keen on the glitzy, crystal -y, gear changey thing. That's a bit too much for me. But everything else, the driving position is brilliant. The only thing that's missing, this is a BMW 8 Series. Now, when I was growing up, BMW 8 Series had pop-up headlights. And I know, I don't think you can have pop-up headlights anymore because of some rubbish health and safety regulation, probably, that means you might damage a pedestrian if you hit them if you had pop-up headlights. But seriously, for me, that's one of the... the I, I've had three different cars with pop-up headlights. This car would look so cool with them. Anyway, enough of the pop-up headlights. Apart from that, what an impressive car. You can mooch in this car, you can munch miles in this car, you could blast across continents. Huge amounts of luggage space, both in that rear passenger compartment and in the boot. Super usable GT car. You could blast across France or Germany with the roof up and then when you get to Saint-Tropez and it's sunny, drop the roof and you can drive around and let everybody see you in your 8 Series convertible. And for me, that means it's a winner. I just... I love it to bits, but I have to say a huge thank you to BMW UK for the invite today. Very special, finally getting some BMW content on my channel. It has taken some time, uh, but hopefully you guys like it. I always like to try and bring you a range of different cars, you know, expensive cars, cheaper cars, convertibles, coupes, off-roaders, whatever it might be, but I haven't been able to get very many BMWs, but here we go, here's a BMW for you. So I hope you enjoyed it, but if you have done so, please, give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. It is because of people like you subscribing to my channel and liking and sharing my content, I'm finally getting able to get to events like this and share with you the driving pleasure of getting behind the wheel of these cars. And that's what I love more than anything. I'm very lucky to get behind the wheel of cars like this. But to share it with you guys makes it even more special. But I'm going to enjoy my drive back. I've still got quite a way before we get back to Soho Farmhouse, but I'm going to turn my cameras off and just enjoy the pleasure of driving this car. And I'll see you on the next build, guys, but you take care. Drive safe.